seaside, all along the coast of Britain, heaven knows how many millions of all ages had a good time in the biggest holiday of the year. In lots of places, the sun proved the weather forecasters to be bad prophets. The general feeling was, let's forget all about that terrible July and hope the rest of the summer will be more like last year's. Brighton began by waging a friendly contest with its neighbour, Hove. Called the Silver Mile, it was given the best possible start by both mayors. Driving force behind it was the Variety Club. Sir John Turner, Millicent Martin, Ronnie Carroll, Tommy Cooper and a host of other entertainment top flighters were on hand to stimulate generosity all round. Ian Carmichael. The contest goes on for a week to see whether Brighton or Hove is the first to cover a mile with silver coins. They expect to raise several thousand pounds for Variety Club charities. Smash and grab proceeds not accepted. Further west, Bournemouth was crowded as usual, and though it was nearer the expected mad weather zone, it was fine to begin with. And then came the rain. Not in any half-hearted way, but as if we hadn't had any since Noah's Ark ran aground. Funny how swimmers will run a mile to get away from these so-called scattered showers. Getting about without a car with a large family needn't be a problem if you have the right sort of tandem. A bicycle made for four, plus a trailer for the twins, and six of the Foster family are well on the road to holiday happiness. Janet and David have an ordinary tandem with four-year-old Shirley in the sidecar. They live at Ruskington, Lincolnshire, quite untroubled by that 50 mile an hour speed limit. Susan has a bike to herself. James Foster, an enterprising father of eight, often takes them 20 to 30 miles over the weekend and reckons on doing 40 miles a day in the holidays. It should give them a good appetite anyway. Action all the way.